All right, this is going to be a follow-up video to my Global Cut Planes video. And today what we've done is we've created a viewport that has a um, Global Cut Plane uh, assigned to it. So we're, we're trying to target, you know, let's say the fifth level of, of piping here. And essentially there is piping that is um, crossing over each other. So I've been, I've been asked if I can um, solve this hidden line issue. So if you ever see something like this, this is, this is called hidden lines when you're dealing with gold cut planes. And um, essentially there is a pipe that is coming over it, over them like this. And since, you know, we're not showing that pipe, they'd like to get rid of that, uh, those, that, that hidden line display. So we're going to be um, diagnosing this and showing you how to uh, correct the problem. So this is a master drawing or a host drawing to other XRFs. And when I select this, you can see that this is an external reference. Um, that is where all of our piping is, um, is living. So uh, first, first piece that you need to know is that the um, style manager and display manager in this host drawing is not going to control the display of, of those pipes, um, at least not in this case. So what we need to do is we need to open up this XRF and deal with the um, deal with the settings there. So we've opened it here, and you can again see this is where the crossing is occurring, and you can see that there is hidden line display that is going on. So we're going to try to address that here in, in this drawing, and um, if we if, if we first take a look at what this service is, um, this, this this is piping, so it's on system new pipe. There's two ways you can you can fix this. So first we'll go into style manager here. We'll check out piping, pipe system definitions, new pipe. And we can see that there is a style override on it. So we're going to take care of that first, but I'll just show you here. I, I know that we are using the plan view. There's a few ways you can check that. Whatever, whenever it's bold, that tells you that that is the display representation that you are using. Um, and then here you can see that on contour hidden, single line hidden, Anything here that's hidden is going to be um, is is going to show the the issue that we're having. So I'm actually going to get rid of the style override to all together. I'm going to hit apply and OK. And instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to control this globally. So I'll go to Display Manager is how you can control things globally. So um, we'll do um, configurations and sets. These control these are your display representations. So if you're not familiar with these and you want to know more about them. Give it, give it a Google here, but um, I believe that if we come over here, so here, here's this thermal tech plan. It references the plan view. Regardless, we're going to come down here to representations by object, and we're going to look at piping here. And I know that um, the display representation that we're using is plan, so I'll just double click that, and I'm just going to hide everything that is hidden. Hit OK on that. Hit Apply. OK. Now you can see that it's gotten rid of our hidden line display. So we're going to go ahead and save this, and we're going to reload this in our host drawing. And you're going to see a new issue has emerged here in a moment. OK, so we've come back to our parent or master or, or host drawing, whatever you want to call it. And you can see now that we've gotten rid of that hidden line display. Um, you can see that it actually hasn't worked on this one. And I can tell you why in a moment. Um, but now we have a new issue where it has completely broken our line segments. So um, for this, there are two causes to that. And we're going to come back here to our um, the, the underlying drawing. So what's being referenced in to the host drawing. And again, we will do display manager. Um, first, I'm actually going to address why, which line was it? It was this line is still showing up as um, showing the hidden. We can take a look at this. It's on the condensate drain system, and I can guarantee you that it has a display override on it right now. So you can see again, style override has been enabled for this, and because of that, it is not going to inherit the changes that we made a moment ago to the display manager. So the way to think about this is style manager allows you to customize the displays by service. Display Manager allows you to globally control all piping displays. So, um, but but if you have an override per service, it is not going to inherit those. So, if we want to adjust it globally, we'll go to Display Manager, and um, what we're going to try to do here is 
come back down to piping and we're going to try to fix that where the, where the segment gaps are at. So um, earlier we were seeing um, a gray dashed line whenever we were seeing the, the crossover. So I'm actually going to undo all of the, the hiddens that I enabled a moment ago. And instead, I know that earlier what I was seeing was the contour hidden was showing. And instead of putting it on 254, all we're going to do is we're going to make it match everything else. So we'll do it by block for that. Same thing with line type. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do by, by block. Hit OK, hit OK. Save that. We'll reload it. Okay, so now we're back into our host drawing, and you can see that um, those lines are back. They are no longer gray. They're no longer dashed. That's what I want. Um, however, now I do have these, these gaps here. Now, that is, that is controlled in a different area. For that, we'll go to File, Options, and this will be a global setting for all of AutoCAD. So you'll just come up here to File, Options, MEP, Display Controls, and there's Apply Gap to Outside and apply gap to inside. And it, you can see here to the right, it's showing you how that changes displays. So we'll hit apply, okay. And it has now completely got, gotten rid of that. So um, the settings that we've dis discussed here may not be um, ideal for, for your situation, but nonetheless, the principles for diagnosing and troubleshooting um, what we experienced here are gonna be the same. Um, and you, you can see here, like this, this is going to be an issue now, right? They're not going to know which which pipe is on top or bottom here until unless we have um, annotations that are calling out bottom of pipe on both of those. So, um, but to but to to recap and reiterate what we learned here is again one, the, your, your we have a host drawing here that has XRS brought into it. The style manager and display manager settings for this drawing are not going to affect our XRFs. Instead, we need to go into our XRFs. Secondly, when we're in our XRS, we then need to know, um, typically you want to control everything via display manager, because that's going to be the master um, configuration that's going to um, be passed down to each individual object. So for example, we manipulated the piping object and it's going to pass it down to all piping objects unless you have gone into style manager and you have enabled a service override. So services by you know chilled water or, or steam or, or what have you. So if you're having issues, go ahead and take a look at those settings. If you have any questions, let me know.